It's going to be very expensive to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. Like in order for us to become multi-planetary in a way that's meaningful, um, the, the, the key threshold is um, at which point does the city become self-sustaining such that if the ships from Earth stopped coming for any reason, and it, it could be any reason, it could be World War III or it could be just, you know, civilization subsided and, um, and, and, and just gradually got decrepit or something. But, but if the ships stop coming, if the resupply ships from Earth stop coming to Mars for any reason, does the city still survive? Mm. And, and that's, that's like really a large base of resources that are, that, that, that are needed uh, on Mars. You can't be missing any one critical ingredient. Uh, so, and, and you can think of this like there are these various great filters, um, you know, that, that perhaps stop civilizations. Um, and one of the great filters is, will we become a multi-planet species or not? Will humanity be one of those species that passes the great vulture of going beyond one planet and being a multi-planet species? And this is certainly something we will have to do at some point because this, the sun is expanding and will eventually boil the oceans um, and destroy all life on Earth. So if you care about life on Earth, you should really care about life becoming multi-planetary and ultimately multi-stellar because otherwise you're basically saying you're, you're signing the, the sort of death warrant for all life as we know it. it, it it's, it's inevitable. Um, and then there's also the, the various things that killed off the, you know, the dinosaurs. And, and the, I mean, if you look at the fossil record, there have been five major extinctions uh, that are sort of on the order of 80, 80 to 90 percent of all creatures on Earth dying um, for, for a wide range of reasons. Um, but uh, and then humans can also, you know, with, with this, the, the World War Three danger um, that, were, that that other creatures didn't have where we, we could do ourselves in. Um, by sort of misusing advanced technology and and sort of just you know having some radioactive hellhole that's all that's left after World War Three. So um, you know it, it one, you could even characterize it potentially as which will come first, World War Three or uh, life becoming multi 